Ladies and gentlemen, 104 Alpha T-Rex. This could possibly be a terrible idea. What is up the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today, doing stuff and things back with more Arc Genesis 2. And ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming to join me. Some new stuff has happened. First of all, you may notice my unbelievable and amazing armor has been colored a different color. Not a different color, actually. Uh, same color, but I just changed it up a little bit. And I look way more Power Rangers now. I'm very excited about it. So um, that's one thing that's going on. Next amazing thing that's going on is look what I've done. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this right here. What is this? Another tech replicator? You're crazy, Slipgator. Why would you need two tech replicators? Well, uh, I do believe... I want to see if this will fit up here. Oh, uh, no! Uh, mm, uh, this base. This base isn't... I can believe it or not, this base isn't big enough for the both of us. Um, so there's certain things that we're going to need. Let's put this guy over here, I guess. There's certain things that you need um, the regular tech replicator in order to make. So we're going to go ahead and throw this down here. We're going to go ahead and throw some of that in there. And the thing that I wanted to start off with making today was this over here. So there's this new thing. Check this out, you guys. Let's go ahead and pull some resources to make this bad ombre. This guy, the tech surveillance console. Now, right over here, we have the dino storage deal. We need a spot for the tech surveillance console. I need a bigger base. We're going to have to do a bigger base. Uh, let's go ahead and squirt the tech surveillance console down right over here. Now, this uh, this does something amazing. Um, as you know, in Genesis 2, everything is ridiculously overpowered, right? That's just the way that the game is. So, this thing is pretty freaking great. We're going to go ahead inside of there. Uh, we're going to make with, what, 25 crystal, 25 electronics, an element, some ingots of metal, and some polymers. This tech remote camera, okay? Now, we are going to utilize a cheaty cheaty mod to go ahead and go to space, like so, the final frontier. And now that we're here in space, ladies and gentlemen, what we will do, wait, is this ambergris? We'll check this out, you guys. Over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop this tech camera right over here. Now, I I'm pretty sure they have an unlimited range. Linked consoles too far away. No, they have a limited range? Oh, man, it's a config option. I think I changed the config option so that... Mm. In our in our playthrough on Twitch that we're doing, this is really unfortunate. In our playthrough on Twitch that we're do that we're doing, um, I have made a bunch of config changes, and I think that one of them is that uh, we have unlimited range on these cameras. So that's unfortunate. I'm wondering what the range actually is then on these guys. I'd really like to use this for my base. And what I wanted to do was set it up so that I could just look at the camera at my base, and I could tell. Um, what we have going on out here in space. So I don't have to necessarily teleport over here. Just a little bit of convenience. Uh, while we're here right now, of course, there's going to be um, metal out here with every single asteroid. But I do believe this is ambergris and something else. Let me just go ahead and check real quick. Let's get our primitive deal over here and see what we've got. Because I'm not sure if we need to bring the hog out here and do some stuff and things. Let me see here. Stone, sulfur. Oh, maybe it's just sulfur? Is that it? Not ambergris? Well, I guess not. Just sulfur, which we don't necessarily need too much of. So don't need to bring uh, the hog out here to do any things. But yeah, so the config that we have for the Twitch playthrough, we've made so many changes. I have a hard time keeping track of all the things that we've done. Um, and I think I set these cameras up for unlimited range so we could do that. Um, I might have to go and check that here today. So a little bit of a failed experiment to start. Uh, maybe what we do is just double check and see. I don't know how far this will go. Out of placement range. Okay, there. there. We, so we can place it here. Let's go ahead and, like, go over here. No, put that away. Let's go. Let's see how far we can go. I wonder how far it is. Right here. Okay, so we can go that far. How far? Wait, how far can this go? It looks like the placement range is very far. I just happen to be like just the littlest bit too far. And I kept going kind of closer to space and closer there. Wait, there. No, it's still going. I kept going closer to space and closer to space and closer. And I was like, this is not, I'm not getting it. Uh, it's not going so I can't place it. I could still place it. And I just kept going and kept going. And look how far, like this is over where we were. 
<laughs> this is over where we were right here. How? I mean, how far is too far? Jeez Louise, did I, I was just on the edge? You're kidding me. Look how far out. That that, that's where I was trying to place it. And this is where I can place it. So I can place this guy down right here. Let's go ahead and place that right there. All right, so we've placed our guy. Perfect. Now what we can do is go back to our base base. And, 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 uh, now we can head right over here like so. And I do believe you just press E on this guy. Bam. And it takes a second. And then, you like, we can see what's going on in space. Isn't this freaking amazing, man? Next previous camera mode. See? Oh, so it has like helmet features. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then space bars, camera list. We just have the one camera. Like so. Uh, it looks like that it has power and HPs as well. Left shift to exit. And then we hit left shift, and with a little bit of lag, we're back at our base. So uh, I just like this thing. I think it's cool that we set it up, um, and now that's over there. All right, so next order of business, what do we want to do? Well, this might seem a little bit interesting. You might not know exactly what's going on here, but I'm going to make 10 fish baskets. No fungal wood. What? I need, wait, cancel. I need fungal wood in order to make these guys. Really? Seriously? Fungal wood? Uh, fish. Let me see here. These fish baskets. Yeah, fungal wood. Cigarette butts we're going to need. So we're going to need some of these guys. The other thing that I want to take a look at. You know what? I can't remember if I have any. Let me see here. This is structures. Do we have any ghillie stuff in things? Oh, we do. All right. Ramshackle ghillie chest piece. Ramshackle ghillie gloves. We have the leggings. We have some boots that are 70. Uh, oh, I didn't know we had the Mastercraft fabricated sniper rifle. Too bad we don't need that anymore because of the tech bow. Um... So, that, 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 and that. I, I just need a helmet, and we should be good to go. I, can I make ghillie stuff inside of here? Uh, because what I'm going to try, what I'm going to attempt to do today, guys. What was that? What I'm going to attempt to do today is uh, we're going to go ahead and try to tame a shadow main. They're unbelievable and amazing new Genesis 2 creatures. Uh, and I think it's going to be really, really fun um, and a fun thing to try to do. Where, Dude, where do you make ghillie armor? Ghillie stuff and things? It's just crafted in your inventory. It's been such a minute since I've ever used this stuff. Uh, GHI, there we go. Let's make that guy right there. No organic polymer. Wow, we got a couple things to get. All right, so um, cigarette butts and organic polymer. Ghillie suit helmet has been made, and I went and gathered up some cigarette butts so that I could make fish traps. Uh, I also built a couple of the wooden cages. Uh, I haven't tried this with wooden cages, uh, but I hear it makes it a little bit easier. And what we're going to try to do is pop over here and find some fish. We need some large ones. Um, the largest that we can find, preferably. But the problem that I always seem to have is the big dumb ducks. Oh, wait. You know what we should do? Hold on a second here. Let's pop over here real quick. Let's go like this. And then toggle visor. Okay. And then there we go. So we can see the fish. Uh, the problem that I always seem to have is that the Hesperontis. Is that Hesperontes? I don't even know what the heck they're called. Stupid big dumb ducks. Those guys always, um, they always end up attacking all the stuff before I'm able to get to it. So, uh, don't go in the water. Uh, oh, God. Now my armor's all wet. All right. So, let me go ahead and drop this guy here. And let's put a couple of cages over there like so. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, you don't even need. There's no need of it. You want to taste my sword. Taste it. Taste it. Why aren't you tasting it? Taste that. Should have thought of that. Uh, let me see how this works. So, I've heard that you can do this. And you? Oh, oh wait, you can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. oh no, wait. I need to get you like in here. You can do this, bud. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, what? Oh, stupid fish! Why'd you do that? Hold on, let me go ahead and try. Can I pick up this guy? All right, let me try over here. That looks like a big fish. Oh, it doesn't work. Maybe I need a bigger cage. Hmm. Some people had told me that this was an effective strategy. Oh, well, ne 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 never mind. Doesn't look like it is. All right, let me see if we can't. Oh, maybe it's like a collision thing. Let me see here. So you got to go like this. Let's put these guys down. Now you got to just wait a second. Initializing. It's a 1.1. Initialize. Initialize. Why aren't you initializing? Oh, trap him. Bam, we got him. Nailed it. Aced it. Can't be stopped. Uh, this guy right here. So you need to get these fish. If you never used a fish trap before, number one, they're super, super confusing. They're kind of a pain in the nut skis. Uh, you place down your fish trap, and then you got to wait a second. And then after you're done waiting a second, you can kind of trap a fish in there. Let me see. It's a 1.3. Wait, what? No, I accidentally let him free. 
Subcater, you're terrible at this. So you kind of got to go like so, initializing, initializing, initializing. Come on, man. Come on. There he goes. Bam, got him. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, okay. Now, whatever you do, Slip, don't put those fish traps back into your hot bar and then, you know what I mean, release the fish because that's not going to be a very good idea. All right, let me go ahead and pick up that guy. And we need fish that are higher than one, really, is what we're looking for. Uh, but it's tough. They kind of... They kind of move around, and when they move around, uh, 0. 0.6. There's a one right there. Come on, initialize. Yep. Oh, crap on a cracker. Where's he at? This is fishing, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you fish. Just keep going like this. <laughs> Until it shows that a fish is nearby. And then you pick up the trap. This is exactly how it works in real life, too. Back at our base, uh, and we have a couple of things that I want to see if we're able to do here. We've got to pop up top like so, and then check over in this guy. And what I want to go ahead and see if I can make is the, I think it's focal chili. Wait, consumables, crafted foods, focal chili blueprint. Dude, I don't know if I have enough stuff and things to make. No, I have no citronella. Crap on a cracker. I have no citronella, and I don't think I have a way to make it. Uh, full of nutrition, consume it to gain increased crafting speed and gain increased movement speed. Focal chili would be a thing. Wait, what about, hold on. Is there other, there's another thing. Isn't there focal chili? Mine white broth of enlightenment. Cactus broth right there. So I know we don't have any cactus. Greatly reduce your water consumption. The aroma of the cactus has a side effect of making the wildlife notice you less. This is what we need. So we have a couple of things going on right now. We have these fish and they're spoiling. Uh, we can only... We can only go to get the shadow mains during the day because we have to t tame them while they're sleeping. Uh, and so one of the things that we can do, I do believe is you put the fish traps in your hot bar and then you go underwater. I think it does reset the timer. So you can go like that. You can go like this. And then that way you can keep your fish baskets fresh, right? So that's good. Um, we don't need the focal chili, but the cactus broth we could really use. But how, I don't know where you find cactus in this, in, in Genesis 2. Where is their cactus? It's dangerous here, ladies and gentlemen, but I do believe these are the plants that we're looking for. There we go. Okay, just very quickly. Very quickly. Don't die, Slip Gator. Don't whip a Bronto to death. Okay, 157 cactus sap should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and just drop. Oh, I feel like we're about to die. I feel like we're about to die. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that scared the craps out of me. So if you're wondering where I am, we're over here uh, in the aberrant zone. What is that? Like 5222 or something like that. And you saw those plants that we were looking for right there. They're these really weird little, I don't know how to describe them. They're like pink on the bottom, red, and they have like a, the bluish tops on them right there. It's a little bit dark right now in the middle of the night. Um, but that's where you're going to want to go for if you're looking for cactus. And we're going to try to make this cactus broth as well. Uh, if you've never tamed a shadow meme before, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a thing for sure. Like, we're going to have probably some hard times with this. Uh, we do have to wait until the day. I don't remember what time they begin to sleep. Um, but the tough part of this is going to be shadow main almost always spawn in pairs. So there's two of them. And there's going to be one that we want to tame probably and one that we don't want to tame, right? Uh, so that's going to be a little bit of a thing. Do I have some berries over inside of here? We can drop maybe all of that, that inside of there. Uh, that can go there, and that can go in there, and then our fiber can go over here. So anyway, there's going to be two shadow mains. One we want to tame and one we don't. Uh, and then they're obviously ridiculously dangerous. So that's going to be tough as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see here. Cactus broth. Can I pull to make that? Make it? Oh, it's happening. All right, there we go. Oh, we just got one. How long does it last? So it lasts for, or with our timer, a few hours. Let's go ahead and craft another one up here, just so we have a couple. Um, so I'm going to have to wait for day. I'm going to have to make sure my fish baskets don't spoil. And then we're going to have to head over to the aberrant zone and start looking for some bad ombres to tame up. Some shadow mains. This is going to be amazing. Ladies and gentlemen. 120. Oh, what time is it? 10. Okay, it should go to sleep. So we have to do this really fast. Okay, okay, okay. Is it sleepy? It's sleepy, it's sleepy, it's sleepy. Okay, ready? Watch this real work fast, 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 fast. Fast, let's get it fast, 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 fast. Consume. Fish basket. Oh, which one's the biggest? 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.3. 1.
Is he still sleepy? So they don't sleep for very long, ladies and gentlemen. They don't sleep for very long at all. Oh, slow. Slow. Oh, no, we're getting attacked. Don't even do anything. Just go up to it. Doesn't matter. Yeah! Get on him! Get on him! Get on him! Oh, my God. That was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, our taming multiplier is a little high. Uh, so, it did make it a little bit easier, but it, it is what it is. We didn't have to do more than one. Oh, my God. 5,000 health, 1,000 stamina. Weight, oxygen, food, no one cares. Melee damage, 266. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our freaking guy. Are you a guy or a girl? Uh, it's a lady. So we have different abilities, I do believe, from the dudes and the ladies. The ladies can make, like, a bunch of things invisible when they are mate boosted. And the males have a roar, I think, that gives a buff. Um, also, if I'm not mistaken, these guys get a buff when they're wet. Right there, upper right, your dino speed, health regeneration, and damage are boosted. Oh, you think you got what it takes? All right, it's time to do some stuff and things here, guys. Let's test this out. What do you think? So as the bar fills, when it's full, hold down left click. Huge amounts of damage. Oh, you guys, we need to get some damage numbers on here so you guys can see what's going on. Suck it all of the fish. Hold on, we need some damage numbers here. Getting a little dangerous over there, so I had to come back to base. First and foremost, let's talk about this. Holy crap, this thing's already blue? Dude, it couldn't be more perfect for me. Look how freaking amazing it is. Are you not looking at me? Why aren't you looking at me? Dude, they normally look right at you. He's kind of looking at me. It's like he's too proud to look down. Uh, yeah, we took a little bit of damage while we were over there. Uh, and we got a couple of levels as well. And by a couple, I mean like 13. Uh, let's go ahead and pump one HPs. All right, we're having a little bit of server lag stuff, so we can't actually see. Okay, whoa, what was that? 500? About 100? About 6%? So I'd love to get 10,000 health. I'd love to get maybe 2,000 stamina. I think I'm going to kind of pump a little bit evenly here into everything. By everything, I mean health, stamina, and uh, melee damage to start with. Uh, but it is a 120. The other thing is, guys, I'm wondering. You know, most of the official servers these days, they're actually set for a higher difficulty where their dinos are can be up to level 150. And I'm feeling like I should probably do that. If you think we should do uh, level 150 on this playthrough, type asparagus puddle cake farts in the comment section below uh, and let me know. All right, so we got to figure out a name for this guy. Let's go ahead and options, change name. Uh, you know what was a good name? Snarf. Let's name him Snarf. Dude, remember Thundercats? All right, so let's go ahead and drop off our owl right here. I haven't brought out Fat Albert for a minute. Excuse me. Oh, my God. It took a second there. And then we're just remember. Oh, my God. Just pumping stamina. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab. Wait, I think I, uh, I picked up uh, Alf over here a second ago. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this food because Snarf's going to need it. Uh, fat Owlbert, owl pardon me, uh, to regain staminas. Let's put that inside of there. There you go. And then now, a little bit of right-click action. Uh, and we're healing. How effectively? Eh, not bad. Snarf's got a lot of HPs. All right, so we got a name. We got some stats, but we got to take it out and find out a little bit more about its abilities and how stupidly overpowered it is. Ladies and gentlemen, in lieu of the normal leveling montage that you might see on the channel as we get a new dino and level it up, I thought maybe we would kill some alpha raptors. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, alpha raptors. We just tamed up Snarf. 9,000 HPs now, 1,500 stamina, 293% melee damage. And I found some raptors right over this way. Let's go ahead and get into it. I think I saw an alpha in here somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna get in there. Oh, don't you even! You're just a lowly mammoth. All right, so we're left clicking. We know about the power attack, but do you know about this? Sir, right up your butt! Lol, the most vulnerable spot. Oh, the other thing too, I do believe. Oh, is there two alpha raptors here? Oh no, okay. We might be in a bit of a we might be in a bit of trouble. Holy crap! Alright, the other thing about Oh so loud. These guys is that the males I do believe also have a damage over time, like a small dot effect. Okay, we're trying to back up a little bit here. Alright, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. Our HPs is doing great. It's the stamina. 
Oh, you think you got what it takes? It's the stamina I'm worried about. Okay, hold on. Can we just wait a second? Do we have any food? Can we just regain some stamina while they annihilate us? Look how freaking powerful she is. Amaze. All right, stamina's back. Let's go back to it. I don't know what level these guys are. We'll have to look once we kill them. Stego, don't let him eat. No, Stego, you're going to let him eat you, and then they're going to regain a little bit of HPs. Stego, stop, stop, stop it, stop, stop. And he's hitting. Stop, stop, stop. You want some of it, and then come on, you, come on. no, stop running away. No, just leave, just leave him alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, what is this, a 120 Stego? Okay, I'm gonna come over this direction. There we go. Dude, why are they, it's like they know. Dude, these gotta be the weakest Raptors of all time. You better not kill my rat! Oh, you son of a frigger! Teleport! Oh, he's eating that one! Dude, this is a hell of a battle, man! Oh, I, can't, I, I can't even talk! I can't even commentate! I can just look at my stamina. Look at my, They're not hurting me at all, man. Really, really low damage from these guys. Okay, we're almost out of stamina. We're just going to have to take some hits here for a second. I think we'll be okay. We got some levels. Let's go ahead and pump a little bit of melee damage. All right, that was only a 36. And an 80. Oh, my God, you guys. That was a heck of a fight, man. Woo! All right, so I don't think we need a lot more HPs. I I, I can't not get it to two to ten thousand, but stamina, man, and then melee damage. Really, let's just pump oh, a bunch of that. Give me two thousand stamina. Uh, I need the other five levels in here. Wow! Oh, baby, we found some amazing stuff and things. You guys, a one thirty nine pick. I'll take that. This guy, uh, you know what, can just go, well, we'll put him, like, back away somewhere else. So two raptor claws. All right, drop, drop. Journeyman bow. Might be able to grind that up. Maybe to keep that, keep that. We got to get a grinder over at the base as well. Uh, that looks good to me. A 121 primitive. I'll take that, too, as a backup deal. And the prime meat for days and days and days. Huge amounts. All right. Oh, apprentice. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and grind that guy up as well. We'll drop those guys on the ground. All right, so we're going to need a little bit of healing. Snarf did a great job, but I do believe it's time to, like, kick it up to the next level, maybe? What about if we tried to find an Alpha Carno? Oh, I forgot to show you one thing. Space bar. Look up. Boom! The jump ability on this guy is freaking next level! And they kind of don't take fall damage. They do take fall damage if you fall far enough. Uh, but you have to be really, really far. And you can far, and you can go really far on these guys too. It's kind of a maze. Really, really cool ability. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you this guy. We're invisible. Do you can't even see us because we're invisible right now. And you can sneak up on stuff like this. I forgot to tell you about this. Maybe you will sneak up on the Alpha Carno. You know another thing that we could do that would be amazing. Ooh, wait. I have a, a little bit of a. It might be a little bit cheaty. What if we put a tracker on this guy? The tracker allows us to teleport it, and we could leave it in the water, and then find the Carno, and then teleport it in, and then it would have the water buff. That would be kind of next level. We found a Carno and a bunch of other things. Level 72. All right, hold on. This is going to have to be quick. We're going to have to be really fast. Really fast. And then, oh, is anybody at me, bro? Okay, we're good. There's the Carno right there. Bam. All right, Snarf, let's do this, bud. You and me, Starfy! 72 Carno! Think you got what it takes? One of these? Now, how much does tell 700 damage from the big attack? That's what I'm talking about. You like that? One of these in your back area, and then super attack? Oh, the cloaca attack! You guys, you guys. 
These dinos come pre-built with cloaca attacks. Now we can scan this guy, take check out his HPs. We've already got him down to half health. You think he got what it takes? Dude, I wonder if we could take on an alpha T-Rex with this. With just this one dino. You know what I really you need the most? 900 damage. You need stamina. Stamina? HPs are holding up so well. Oh man, it just hits, just keep on coming. Oh, get freaking wrecked. Give me all the stuff and things. Oh, hello. Dude, we got the new pickaxe. And then, all right, we'll take that guy. We'll take your arms because we put those in a blender. Grab those guys. 160 pick. Oh, baby. I needed this so much. Let's grab that. Let's grab the skin off of there. Squirt it onto that one. Oh, drop it on the ground. We don't even need a backup deal for that. And another 100 guy. Oh, all this prime meat. I put a bunch of this in my um, in my uh, cooker oven back at home. Uh, and we have a bunch of stuff going on there. You know what I'm just going to do? All right. Wait, 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 wait. One level. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Really? Dude, you're not even an alpha. You're not even an alpha. What are you going to do to me? Like that? And then one of these? Right up your freaking cloaca area? One twelve T-Rex done. D-E-D -E -D dead. Um, okay, so Snarf is ridiculously powerful. Uh... Yeah, it's time to kill an Alpha T-Rex. And I feel like I'm going to try to find a high-level one. Maybe... Oh, jeez, I don't know. I'm a little bit afraid. Maybe... Look how amazing it looks. Maybe over level 100? I don't think that would be a bad idea. Ladies and gentlemen. 104 Alpha T-Rex. This could possibly be a terrible idea. All right. We're going to get attacked by a few different things, I think. All right. Snarf's ready to go. One, two, three, saber tooths down. Are you trying to get me from the behind? You're trying to use my own move against me? Stupid dummy. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, so many bad guys. Seventy-seven thousand hit points. Okay, good, good, good. We're just getting the one guy for right now. No, nope, never mind. They're both on us. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. This is not the best idea that I ever had. We're bleeding. Oh, I couldn't hit him with my super attack. Hold on. We're in there. Seven hundred and ninety. Wait, I think we got a little bit of lag there. All right, stamina's not doing so great. So what I'm feeling like we might be able to do here? A thousand damage, baby. What if I, like that? And just give me a little bit of a second. Okay, it's not really giving me any time at all. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pump melee damage. Teleport. All right, we got stamina back. How are we doing? Can't tell. All right, we got it down to 60,000. Okay, downhill is bad. Well, oh, we couldn't teleport behind it. Teleport! There we go. Oh, we can't get behind it. Well, let's use the old fashioned way. <laughs> Where are you going? What are you scared? You scared of me? I keep missing a little bit with that power attack. I don't think I'm close enough. Yeah, I don't think it's hitting with that guy, but I'm doing 200 per. At 77,000, uh, that's 77 times five. Would be how many hits we have to hit it with, uh, with 200 in order to kill it? There we go. We got to hit on that guy that time. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, okay. Health is a concern. Health is suddenly a thing. What are we at? Ooh. Oh, oh, <clears throat> pardon me. Ooh, more manly. There we go. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is not necessarily great because we don't have it down to half. 
And it's got us close. This could be a thing, man. Holy crap. I am right clicking like you never saw. Those power attacks are going to be key. We can't lose Snarf. We cannot die. Okay. All right. We're not doing too bad. We'll be down to. Scan. All right. All right. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I think we can make this. The biggest thing is going to be just getting back our stamina. Wow. Sir. I'm going to chill out here for a second. Dude, it. Sir. Okay. I just need some stamina. Ah, this is not good. This is not good. All right. We got some. We had enough. Fine. Whatever. Let's go. We're downhill again. We're downhill again. Oh, let me get up. There we go. No, dude, it's like he knows. Dude, he's trying to get me from behind. He knows my tactics. Do, 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 do. Okay, turn, turn, turn. Just wait a second. Oh, am I dotting it? Oh, I thought it was the male that did the damage over time. I swear to God. You're a lady, right? What's going on? Keeping an eye on my stamina. So close. Yeah, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Unbelievable and amazing. Eat its whole body. Dude, what did you give me? Brains? Trophy? That guy? Anything good? Oh, we got a couple new guys. Hold on a second here. So we got a 160. It's not as good. We got a 154% pick. Much, much better. Uh, and a mess of prime meat, man. You guys, this guy is so freaking amazing. I'm so excited. I love this dino. Back at base, cooking up some of this prime meat that we got. I couldn't get enough of it off fast enough, but we got a good amount. Look at that. All that cooked prime meat inside of there now, just so that we have some. Uh, Snarf is looking great. And... We have some more levels. It looks like only five. I really want to get some more stamina on this guy. But I feel like, how can we not? Just pump. You know what I mean? Just pump that. Make sure we get... We don't need any of this crap, man. We can take that. Uh, oh, we still have some prime meat on there. Hold on a second. I thought it was out. Let's go back over here to the industrial cooker. Grab that. Pull. Raw prime meat. There it is right there. Pull. All right. And we'll pull all that in there to cook. So that looks pretty good. But anyway, so Snarf's doing great. Super, super powerful dino. And I am very excited to have it. I think this is going to be like our primary fighting dino for the rest of our series here. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out today. I hope that you had a good time hanging out with me and Snarfy. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget. Show your support. Smash that thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next one. May the stuff of things be with you.